and go. Welcome to Dr. Pete's Happy Kitchen and tonight's special edition oh, is Come yeah, With yeah. Me Foods. Um, tonight we are cooking Mrs. Annette's salmon. Fantastic. So what do we do? Here, this is wild Alaskan salmon. Over here is mustard. And here is some lemon juice. Yummy. This is cauliflower, chopped up, so it's the same consistency as couscous. Great. This is cheddar cheese. This is parmesan. And this is cream cheese. You've got some salt over here. You've got some pepper up here. Um, should we get started? Uh -huh. Perfect. What should we do first? First, you want to get a teeny tiny pinch of pe salt, not pepper, salt, and sprinkle it over the fish. Yummy. Bit of seasoning, bit of taste. Go with the beautiful oils from the World Alaskan Salmon, make it delicious. And then pepper. And then we add the pepper next. The so nice big grind. Pretty good going. Perfect. That looks amazing. I like extra pepper. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and what's next? Next, you need to get a spoon. You got it. If I hold it, and you drizzle. And get a little spoon of lemon juice and sprinkle that in your bowls or over the fish. Brilliant. So you put the lemon juice on first with the salt and pepper so it helps marinate the fish and tastes absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. Looking good. Maybe a bit more. Let's not be shy with lemon juice. I love lemon juice. That's why I'm adding it. Perfect. Yeah, no. Great stuff. So what's next? Should we mix some ingredients? Mm -hmm. Perfect. We'll pop this to one side just for a second. Mm -hmm. There we go. So, cauliflower is great to use because it's full of minerals and vitamins. There we go. And like I said, it's chopped up to be the same consistency as couscous. Great. You might want to take like a third of this. So this one big cauliflower chopped up, it's about half a cauliflower be plenty for, for most people with four salmon fillets. It's looking good. I'm going to put lots in so I like cauliflower. I pretty much like everything here except mustard. Oh, we'll see how that tastes. I think that will surprise you today. Okay. Maybe. That's good. Dr. Beach Happy Kitchen is always good. <laughs> okay. So what's this one? This is Parmesan and we are only going to add half of this. It's been fed in. Oh, we don't it's about 100 grams of Parmesan. So we add half into the main mix and then we'll use the rest later. I love Parmesan. Like my favourite thing, and I have some now. <laughs> More on the food. <laughs> okay, and we'll save the rest of that. Now, this is a little mix of some French mustard and some English mustard. Um, the recipe normally be Dijon. I'm sorry for changing it, Mrs. Net, um, but this is what we had in the fridge. So, a little mix of delicious mustard, and we're going to put in about two teaspoons full. That's it. So another couple of those. Great. <laughs> this is the most fun you ever have cooking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and last bit. That's it. Okay. okay, and what's this one? This is cheddar cheese. Great. I'm only gonna add half of this as well. Put that on top of the mustard. Half, 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 half. It's like 250 grams of cheddar cheese here, all grated up. 
Wahoo. 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 Yahoo. Come on, big hand for. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. And last but not least, what have we got here? This is cream cheese. So full fat cream cheese. Am I gonna add all of this? We are. You are. Oh, I am. Okay. Okay. Shall I hold the bowl for you? There we go. You scrape them. And then we're gonna give it a really good mix up. Really mix it up. Really good mix. I would say mix it for five minutes. And the good thing about healthy cooking is that you get to use all these big muscles to get it all mixed up beautifully so it's a nice, even, smooth consistency. That's perfect. Okay. And by the time we're finished, all the mustard should be mixed in fully, all the cream cheese and all the different parmesan and cheddar mixed in fully. And that looks just about done. What do you think? Looks pretty good. Happy with that? Squashing our bumps. <laughs> okay. So what we do now is we just get our salmon fillet and we're just going to gently load the nice cheesy cream cheese and um, mustard mix on top of the salmon fillet. So we're just going to divide it equally between all four. That's it. So you load it up. That's it. Perfect. And you keep loading and I'll press it down. That's it. Lovely. And do the rest. That's amazing. And the great thing about using cauliflower is it's paleo friendly. So there's no, no sort of refined processed carbohydrates in here like you would have if you were using uh, breadcrumbs, for instance. Okay, great. Next one. <laughs> it's tough. <laughs> <laughs> that is pretty good. Now the oven is already heating up, so it's 180 degrees in a fan oven or 200 degrees centigrade in a normal electric oven. Do you know what that is in gas mark? No idea. No idea, me neither. No. 180 degrees. That's you can also eat that. <laughs> okay, okay. Last bit. Amazing, on top, that's it. Perfect. We still got some <laughs> That's ever so slightly messy, but we like messy, don't we? Messy. Messy is good. You know, if you make mess, it means you're having fun. <laughs> so, we're just going to gently place these salmon fillets into the baking tray now. And it's just lined with some greasy paper. This feels so tacky. <laughs> Everything I've actually held fish before when it's not cooked. I'm going to have to wash my hands afterwards. We are both going to wash our hands afterwards, but we always do. That's mm -hmm. great. Because we're cooking. <laughs> Looking good. good. Still a bit of parsley from the garden. Don't make it taste like even hearts. better. It's making my fingers sting a bit from the lemon juice. Ow, ow, ow. My lemon. Ow, the lemon juice! <laughs> ow! Okay, that's one. <laughs> <laughs> Occupational hazard of cooking the lemon juice is a stinging cut. Okay. And the last one. This is messy. <laughs> it's going to taste so good though. Because we're having fun if it makes a mess. <laughs> okay, should we pop a little bit more on there? Maybe some of the stuff we dropped. Perfect. Okay, so we've got our four I'm delicious salmon fillets. We'll do it in a second. And then... My hand's stinging. <laughs> and we're going to pop these into the oven for about 15 minutes. About 15 minutes until the cauliflower is cooked on top, the cheese is melted, and the salmon is cooked throughout. And we'll see you in 15 minutes. So it's been 15 minutes of our delicious looking fish that in, an, in the oven and it's been cooked perfectly, it looks really good. Okay, so what do we need to do now? Now we're going to add a teeny, tiny, teeny, teeny, 
weeny pinch of paprika onto the fish. Just gonna give it a really lovely flavour and taste to it. Delicious. And spices and herbs are so full of minerals, antioxidants, um, wonderful, wonderful digestive aids. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna add a bit more parsley. Bit of, bit of, bit of, bit of. Just to top it off. <laughs> okay. Um, we're gonna add a teeny tiny sprinkle more parmesan and a teeny tiny sprinkle more cheddar because we said we were gonna use them in the video and we didn't use them. <laughs> <laughs> so we. Should we add some more? We're gonna add some more because I like it. <laughs> Go for it. Let's make some parsley in there. It's gonna be amazing. Go this for it. is cheddar. Yummy. This is. Bombs up. Beautiful. Just because I like it. Mm -hmm. Should we give it a taste? Let's give it a taste. Chef's honours. I'm going to take the best looking part. So the cauliflower, the cheese have all mixed together beautifully. The fish is still beautiful and moist inside. And we know it's going to be so good for you because it's full of all the, the good omega-3 fats and oils, which is what we need for our brains to develop. Mm -hmm. Right? How's that tasting? Mm. Mm. It's really good. It's really I good. Love it. So you just get a little hint of the um, mustard in there, not too much mustard? Not too much. To be honest, the mustard tastes actually pretty good in there. Nice. They knew why I would turn out like it. <laughs> so here we have Mrs. Annette's baked salmon um, Sunday night treat. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Lucky we're going to have this for dinner because I'm starving. <laughs>